Our childhood was filled with ups, downs, sad things, and exciting things. We kicked, screamed, hugged, laughed, and plotted against our parents for extra dessert. But now we're grown up. We are both married. There isn't much bickering now as there was when we were 15. And now we cheer each other on and remain each other's cheerleaders every day. It's true what they say about sisters being lifelong best friends. Dalton is someone I've always known for to be very caring in all of his relationships. The way he talks about them, addresses them with so much care, values all of his relationships so highly. It's truly admirable. I could not be more happy for Dalton that he finally found everything he could ever have hoped for in Abby. In them, I see a perfect example of love. I feel privileged to be part of this milestone in their lives. Beautiful, loving, smart, funny, and loved by anyone who is lucky enough to really know her. Those are just a few words that I would use to describe my daughter.
Under the eyes of God, do you take Abby to be your lawfully wedded wife? By making this commitment, you are joining in the covenant of marriage. Do you promise to honor her in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in her, so long as you both shall live? If so, say I do. I do. Abby, do you take Dalton to be your lawfully wedded husband? By making this commitment, you are joining in the sacred covenant of marriage. Do you promise to honor him in love, to be sensitive to his needs, to comfort him in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in him so long as you both shall live? If so, say I do. I do. Now, by the power invested in me in the Christian and Missionary Alliance and the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife.